Okay, so by now you should have Conda installed. Everyone's good, has Conda installed. And so, um, so a few things to, for, for everyone following on YouTube. Um, after you run this command bash mini Conda 3, if that's what you're doing, say this is the Mac instructions, um, you want to say yes um, to add the mini Conda 3 to your path. Um, and you want to do the installation in your home directory. So uh, you, you'll actually do that in the reverse order. It'll ask you where to install it. You'll install it in your home directory, and then you'll add it to the path. And if you if you don't have it in your path, you can open up your dot brett bash underscore profile. Um, I'll show you just the last bit. So these are the two lines that are added. So um, this was added to my bash underscore profile. If I was using Linux, it would be added to my dot bash RC, but it's um, exporting the path of where the miniconda is, is installed. Um, and it's prepending it to my existing path which is here. Um, and it's important that you type the full absolute path, not using um, an abbreviation. OK. So if we go back to the lesson, okay, reload. the nice thing about Conda is um, you know, we had to deal with that installation process, um, but going forward, whenever we want to install new Python packages, um, we don't have to uh, we don't have to do too much. We can just type a few commands, and and we'll get the package installed. So that's really handy. Okay, so we're right here. We just installed uh, Miniconda three, or if if you already have Anaconda. 2 or 3 or Miniconda 2, it's OK. You sh you'll be able to follow along. Um, just You'll want to just do one thing, which is to make always make sure you say Python equals 3 when you create a new environment. OK. Um, <clears throat> now, let's do one thing. Um, go back to your terminal and type Python well, first of all, you can type which Python, and that should be, now you should be using, so previously we did which conda, which says where is the conda command, and now we're saying which Python, where is the Python command, and that is, uh, should be in the same place as the conda command. So, yeah. For instance, I, don't, I use mine in Chime 2. Okay. Um, so is that bad? I know Python. I know it's Python 3. You have it. So you have a Chime 2 environment that you yeah. activate. Okay. So that's fine um, for using Chime, but for this class and for other projects, you might you're going to want to have a different environment. So instead of doing like source activate Chime 2, you're going to do source activate. We're, we're going to have an environment that's called Python 3. Okay. Um, it's just a very generic name, but um, so you're going to want to do that. So okay. you should. Are you in your Chime environment right now? Oh yes. Yeah, so you should. So you, should you should deactivate that. So you should not be in an environment at this moment. But typically we will be. Um, so you can access Python from. So so uh, if you're using. Um, if you're using. Um, Windows, you might it might show the name of the environment, which is your base environment for Windows users. Um, on Mac, it doesn't usually show the base environment. But um, okay, so one thing we can do is we can see what version of Python uh, we have. So yours is probably you guys mostly have three point seven, right? Okay, so I have three point six, so um, it shouldn't make a difference, but just in case, um, when I make environments, I will. Well, here's what I'm going to do. Actually, um, when I when I create the Python three environment that we're going to use, I'm going to use. I'm going to make sure it uses 3.7. Okay. 
So, so we're actually almost ready to do that. Um, I'm going to make this window a little bit smaller. So if, um, so, uh, question, yeah. Yeah, um, I have Python 2.7 because I need it for my research. Yeah. Um, is it possible, like, in this new environment to get the updates to Python 3 and use it separately? Yes, okay. yes. Yeah, so, um, and you, did you use the Miniconda 3 or Miniconda 2? Uh, Miniconda 2. Okay. So you... Um, no matter what, you can. The nice thing about Conda is you can always create an environment that uses a, ver a version of Python that you want. Okay, so yeah. you can go over yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Uh, is there like a way to check the list of environments? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So if you want to see which environments you have, you can type um, Conda and list. And a lot of you, if you just installed, you will just have this base, this base environment. Um, but if you're like me, you might have a lot more environments. Um, so for example, you might have a Chime 2 environment. or um, The base environment is um, anything that's installed there is accessible in other environments. And, but typically, you don't want to install things in the base environment except for um, like updating your, your conda. Yeah. Um, uh, yes. Uh, one second. 